hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in such a long time. Just wanted to give you a little heads up that this video was recorded in August for the channel birthday, which was in August. Um, <laughs> experienced a little bit of burnout. Uh, school also, that's a lot. Also, new apartment. Wow, look at it. Room tour. I forgot that was there. That's for drawing class. Gonna slowly pan away from that with no explanation. Anyway, so this video, is it long? Yes. Is it overproduced and unedited? Probably. Am I gonna release it anyway? Yes. Am I still proud of it? Also, yes. <laughs> it just took an extraordinary long time, but here it is, and I think you're gonna like it. So yeah, this was just a little future check-in. Enjoy the video. Bye. <laughs> Happy third birthday! Welcome to your party! As you recall, last year we had a party for you for your second birthday and that was so much fun I decided to do it again! Look at you, you're young, wild, and three! Did I find the cheapest and most random party decorations for kids on Amazon? Yeah! That's exactly what I did, thank you for asking. Uh, but where are my manners? Um, I got you a hat too, don't you worry about it. There you go, there you go. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I got you a little birthday ribbon. This is my third birthday. Because you're three, oh my goodness. Here you go, let me put that on you. Now we're ready for a party. Side note, I had no idea these things actually made noise. I thought I've only ever had the paper ones that just like, you know, they're just like a glorified lizard tongue <laughs> that you have at parties for some reason. But these ones, these ones are the fancy ones, plastic. <laughs> it's a horn. So I spare no expense for you. All right, gang, you know my borderline unnatural obsession with tie dye right well my obsession with tie-dye has only grown throughout this past year um i just recently ish discovered this channel called chan dye shan dye i'm not actually sure but this person does amazing amazing tie-dye and i i've really wanted to try it out and i thought tie-dye is kind of like a tradition for your channel birthday so I am going to be following four different tie-dye tutorials from Chandai today. Four patterns, four shirts, epic amounts of fun. So without any further ado, let's go to the tie-dye zone. <laughs> All right, welcome to the tie-dye zone. I bet you thought uh, with my going to the tie-dye zone that we were going somewhere else. Um, no, it's the same place, just panned down very slightly. Oh, the dye, I forgot the dye. I was about to say, I've got the shirts all soaked in soda ash, I, ri I ringed them out, they're all kind of slightly damp laying here. And I was like, we're ready to tie-dye. Um, I forgot the dye. So uh, I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we are, I've got my dye colors. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to be following this tutorial entitled Tie-Dye Pattern P175 Flaming Rainbow No Rubber Bands. Rubber bands, get out of here. I don't actually want to throw them, but just pretend that I threw them for dramatic effect, but I don't actually want to pick them up, so use your imagination. Be gone, rubber bands! Now, this guy, this guy is a god among men at folding shirts. Just the right way for the tie-dye. I have never been that precise in my tie-dye folding edge. I'm not very good at folding articles of clothing just on a normal basis for storage sake, so... And these... Uh, patterns are very contingent on folding it just the right way. So I'm gonna get the shirt totally flat. Um, I'm probably gonna get my mouse for my laptop because I'd rather ruin the mouse than the laptop. 
Sorry, Mouse, that's just the way of life. I didn't make the rules except that I did. Teach me, Chandai! Teach me your wizarding ways of tie-dye! Okay, so he just kind of crumples it. Crumples it starting from the corner of the shirt. Just kind of crumples it into a square. And he does have it on the rack already, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I've moved the shirt onto the rack. Um, this guy's rack <laughs> must be bigger than mine. Uh, <laughs> because you can't even tell it's under here. The shirt, the shirt completely covers it. Um, but we're gonna crumple it just like this guy did. I don't know if there's a right and wrong way to do this. So it, do it does kind of a this motion. Very, very carefully, very calculated. Okay, I think I've got an adequate crumple here. So the guy just kind of does diagonal stripes of blue, yellow, red all the way on the shirt. Um, I can't actually tell if he flips it and does the other side too. Looks like he only does the one side. I guess we're going to do this side, and then we're going to see how we feel. <laughs> no! <laughs> Splashed it. How does this dude do it so precise? Okay, it's promising so far. Ew. Open. Ugh. I love tie-dyeing so much. I don't know what it is about it. I just, it's colorful, and you're like, you're making a boring old shirt into a really cool shirt. <laughs> kind of really get that. Because this one doesn't, the shirt that he made doesn't have like a lot of um, blending, not a lot of the Secondary colors of the rainbow, you know, your, you know, your, your classic greens, your purples, your oranges. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I'm gonna try to have more blending opportunities. Perfect, perfection, my guys. I don't know, man. I think I should do the other side as well. I don't. I don't want to mess it up by flippy dipping it. Yeah, flippy, flippy, flippy dippy. You know. But he had to have done the other side. There's no way. There's no way. Ooh, I have an idea. I had an absolute brainwave. Okay, you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> yes. I am a genius, a genius. See, look how much white is under here. Chandai, come on, you gotta show it flipping too. I'm running out of blue dye very, very quickly. And I am out of blue. <laughs> okay, so this one is done. Gonna put it in the bag. <laughs> okay, next pattern. All right, so for this next one, I've actually got a colored shirt that we're doing. I've got two shirts with um, patterns on them and two plain white shirts. And I'm gonna be following this tutorial called Tie-Dye Pattern P225 Chain Link Fence. I thought it looked really, really cool. And I thought it looked cool on this one. And I mean, if it doesn't work out, I got this shirt for free. So, you know, nothing gained, nothing lost. But I think doing purple on this one will look cool. Let's watch the tutorial. Diagonal. Diagonally. <laughs> Diagonally. Okay, so you kind of just, you know, do some pleats. It's probably gonna take a hot minute. Uh, a hot minute, mind you. Um, 
you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna cut to when it's done. All right, so the shirt is all bleated. Oh, that took a long time. And it's not as perfect as the guys, but this is as good as we're gonna get. This dude, a master of patience. Okay, and then we like section it with rubber bands. All right, so my main man, Chan Chan, uh, can I call you Chan Chan? Good, uh, my main man Chan Chan had it over two racks. So that was what we've got going on here. My pleats are not nearly as precise as his pleats. <laughs> and my sections are not nearly as even as his sections. But I, this is as good as I can do. I think it'll work. So we're gonna do purple and we basically alternate sections with dye. And now we flip it, and then we do opposite on this side. Okay, I really hope I did this right. I think I did. Let's do the next shirt. Okay, next tie-dye. I got some more blue dye. Tie-dye pattern P226 Star Mandala. I thought it looked really cool, rainbowy, really spicy, really nice. We're gonna see. This one is complicated folding wise. What are we doing, sir? First step, take the sleeve. We fold it in half. Nice, okay. Next step, take the bottom, fold it to the top. Fold it to the top. Take the corner and we fold it down. Okay, you gotta make sure that, you gotta make sure that tip is Pointy. Now we take the corner. Oh, we pleat it. Oh. Straight pleat from the point, straight pleat from the point, straight pleat from the point, straight pleat from the point. Okay, and now we put a bunch of, just a bunch of rubber bands. I think it's just to keep it together. So just rubber band it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like your five year old cousin who has braces going to the dentist. Do five-year-olds have braces? Can five-year-olds have braces? Okay, we got a triangle. We're ready to die. I mean, <laughs> D-Y-E, not D-I-E, D-Y-E. Okay, he starts with yellow in the tip. Oh, he does it like whoop, whoop, chevrons up it. This is precise tie-dyeing. Before, I just kinda, you know, winged it. But this, this is artistry. And then we do the back the exact same way. I think that's good. All right, for the last shirt, first of all, it's gonna be this Retin Link Wax Paper Dog shirt. Um, it's very big. I use it for a sleep shirt. I just thought it could use a little pizzazz, a little pizzazzy zazz, you know? So for the last tutorial, we're going to be following tie-dye pattern P173 Blue Dream. For this one, the guy does this fancy folding thing where you turn the shirt inside out and then you reach in here and you pull the sleeve over to this side, inside the shirt, and then, this is the fun part, you get our dowel, a big rod thing. It said wood, metal, plastic, whatever you got. So then, you take it, and then you start rolling it. And boom, you're ready to die. I'm gonna use this turquoise dye that I've got along with some blue to give it some flavor. And I'm gonna go sparing on this one because I don't wanna completely cover up my wax paper dogs. Okay, I think we're done with this one. 
It looks cool on the stick. I can't wait to see what it looks like off the rod. I chose this one mostly because it was on a stick and it seemed fun. <laughs> but that is the last pattern. I will see you in a couple hours for the reveal. Hey guys, welcome to the new apartment. So yeah, I planned on having this video come out the week of the channel birthday, which would be um, this Sunday as I'm recording this right now. But um, I went on a trip and then I was moving into the apartment. And let me tell you what, moving into an apartment <laughs> takes a lot of work. So yeah, what do you guys think? This is my room. Um, I know it doesn't look the best from this angle. I couldn't really find an ideal angle to record from. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull an amazing fill and record on my bed. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get more stuff for the background, don't you worry. So yeah, I had the shirts done the same day I was recording the rest of the tie-dye video, but life, man, it's crazy. I didn't have time to record the outro. Oh, do you like this jacket, by the way? I feel like Miss Frizzle when I wear it, and that's, that's a good feeling. <laughs> okay, no further ado, here's the shirts. I think they turned out pretty good. Here's the first one, the rainbow flame. Ooh, ah, it looks a lot more vibrant on camera. This one actually turned out pretty good. It looks kind of like the tutorial. It's a bit messier than Chan dies. Here's the back. Ooh, the back actually turned out clearer. Uh, yeah, I think this one is really cool. Okay, and here's the second one. This one is possibly my favorite one. Here it is. This was the chain link fence pattern. Oh, it looks so cool. It doesn't look exactly like the chain link fence tutorial. I mean, some areas, like in there, is pretty, you know, like it was supposed to be all over. But I think it turned out really, really cool. My mom says it looks like um, I got run over by a vehicle and there's a tire track on me. <laughs> Dang, look at that. Look, I, like, I love the left shoulder, this one. Oh yeah, here's the back, one more time. Ooh, ah. So yeah, that one turned out really cool. Not exactly like the pattern. I think if I'd done the pleats more precise, like the tutorial, it would have come out more chain link fancy, but still really cool. Here's the third one. Um. <laughs> This one is supposed to be the star mandala one. <laughs> it's definitely a mandala, but like, not really a star. It looks like we've got some Eye of Sauron vibes going on in the middle there. <laughs> um, here's just the, oh, that was the back. Here's the front. So yeah, I think that one was the one that came out looking least like the tutorial. Um, so... Also, the air conditioning decided right now was a great time to come back on, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so yeah, not really my style, but still pretty cool. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not over the moon about it, you know what I'm saying? I was promised a star and I got an eye. So yeah, and that brings us to the last shirt, my wax paper dogs. Da -na -na -na. It's all wrinkly because it was in my pajama drawer, <laughs> but here it is. I can't fit it all in the f all at once because it's it's huge. <laughs> um, I really like how this one turned out. Actually, I think I could have done a bit more dye, but I was afraid of covering up the wax paper dogs completely. Um, it's still pretty cool. I love the color, um, and the, I think I might do this one again and to add just a bit more dye. I mean, better not enough than too much, right? Because then I can always add more. The back is pretty sparse. Oh, if I back up here, you can see the whole thing. <laughs> the thing in the middle kind of looks like a wishbone. No, it looks like an angry, an angry, like, otter person or an angry cat person. Do you see that? The eyes and the nose and the mouth. I'll draw it on the video. Yeah, it didn't come out exactly like I had envisioned, but I, I think I'll definitely add some more, work on it a little bit. It's got potential is what I'm saying. <laughs> 
So yeah, that concludes my three year anniversary tie-dye adventure. I still can't believe it's been three years already. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I've got a lot of fun videos coming your way, a lot of fun ideas for videos in my brain. So I'm just saying thanks for sticking around and stay tuned for more. So yeah, that's it. That sounded like I was angry. That's it. I'm out of here. If you like that video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe as always. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. How do I normally end videos? Oh yeah, bye guys.